All right, natokinase, very popular supplement nowadays. But because of that, a lot of people will say it has huge benefits and does certain things and outperforms medications. And one of those is heart disease, you know, plaque buildup, and including cholesterol levels. And the question becomes, is it really that good? You know, how does it stack up? versus some of our more traditional medications. So in this video, I want to go over a study that compared it to one of our more popular statin medications head to head for both plaque buildup, see if there's a reduction in plaque size, and also to see if there's a decrease in cholesterol numbers to so which one performed better. So I'm going to include a link to the study in the description, but let's take a look at what they found, because I will say right off the bat, very promising for nanofamilies. So. In the study, and granted, not a huge study, this was a few years ago, so it's a little older, but what they did is they took nanokinase and they gave half of this group 6,000 views per day, which is a kind of mid-range dose, I would say, for nanokinase, and they compared that for 26 weeks versus a group who took 20 milligrams a day, and S is for simvastatin, which is the generic name for Zocor, okay? Very popular cholesterol medication. Okay. Now, the first part of the study is they look at carotid artery atherosclerosis. So essentially plaque buildup in the carotid artery, which can break off and, and block blood flow to the brain, obviously not a good thing. Looking at which one decreased plaque size the most, if at all. And what they found is that one of the groups saw a 36.6% decrease in plaque size. Okay, that's pretty big. The other group saw an 11.5% decrease in plaque size. So still promising, but obviously not as good as the first group. The first group with the larger decrease in plaque size was actually the nanotinies. Okay, the other one was the synthesis. So when it comes to decrease in carotid artery plaque size, very promising for nanokinase. Now, the other part of the study was looking at the cholesterol levels, because a lot of people will say now kinase can outperform medications. Is that true? Okay, so what we found was that both now kinase and simvastatin did cause a decrease in total cholesterol, LDLC, as well as triglycerides. However, it was flip flop. Okay. Simvastatin did outperform now kinase in this regard. Again, both resulted in decreases in the cholesterol numbers. But simvastatin was larger decrease. All right. The one thing natokinase brought to the table with cholesterol that simvastatin did not is that natokinase did cause an increase in HDLs. Okay. So, quote unquote, or good cholesterol statin did not. Now, I want to point out that this is very promising for natokinase, but obviously you're going to need to talk to your doctor about starting it. There are side effects that can potentially come with natokinase. I've done videos on that. And I know that rubs some people the wrong way. It's a very promising supplement. Doesn't mean there can't be side effects with supplements, okay? Just because they're uh, not from a pharmaceutical company. So keep that in mind. Also make sure guys go grab your free checklist at my website. I go over a lot of other options outside of drugs and surgery that I personally use or that I have seen other people have really good success with. A number of these things I don't see talked about at all. So again, free checklist, go grab it. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one.